went from 80 degrees a couple days ago back down to like 40. Well, that was just for the high. It was like 20-something last night. Perfect time for us to talk about some black metal. Cold weather, all that fun stuff. It's a great day for Metal Cover Killer Nation. How are you guys doing? It's time for us to get back to the whole reviewing regimen, considering we have a ton of new releases this week. Have you gotten any of them yet? You probably should have, and you should definitely be going out and picking them up. I myself got about five or six of them today. It was ridiculous. It was fun. Maybe I'll make a video about that sometime in the future. But for now, we're going to talk about a new release from Melodic Black Metal's Nagelfar with their album Terras. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this band, <coughs> they've been going at it. They've been around since the latter part of the 1990s. This is their sixth album to date. Uh, they had uh, many releases that are considered to be uh, classics of this genre earlier on in their career, including the seminal Vitro, uh, which is considered to be a uh, melodic black metal standard. Uh, now these guys, a lot of people, a lot of their fans will clamor for the elder material. However, their newer stuff is definitely no slouch either, and Taros is a perfect uh, example of this. Uh, this is an album that is definitely showcasing where this band has kind of come from. Uh, not necessarily where they have been in recent years, but a lot more about where they come from. Just absolutely very gripping stuff, very gripping, gripping work. And it is really taking a lot of uh, a cue from their earlier material, perhaps though not quite going to that same uh, degree uh, that you would see on Vitra. In fact, Vitra was just a very, very different album altogether for these guys, and that's one of the big reasons why it's considered to be such a standard. Uh, uh, really just compared to albums such as uh, Shield or uh, Diabolical, and it, it really is uh, a record that stands alone by itself. And the two albums that I just mentioned, by the way, no slouches in their own right. Also, very, very exceptional albums uh, by this band. Uh, Terras is going to be one of these albums that are going to, uh, I think, for future generations, kind of be mentioned within the same breath, only perhaps uh, not so much uh, considered to be on quite that elevated of a, t uh, of a tier. Uh, this is a very, very good album, very, very solid-natured, uh, exceptionally, exceptionally uh, dark-rooted, and that is something that this band has uh, really became very known for at a very, very early time in their career, and then they took a, a long departure. There was a, a long departure going on within their history while uh, several of the band members went on and did different things. One of them, I believe, went back to school as... And during that time period, things kind of shifted around a little bit for the band, and Terra is an album that really, it's not so much a, a you know, showcasing the, the differences that some years can make, because they have uh, produced albums and released albums uh, ever since they have returned. However, uh, Terra is the one album that, for me, kind of reminds me the most about their elder sound, their elder scrolls, and that's... Uh, for me, at least, a nice throwback to the early part of 2000, uh, the 2000s whenever I was just getting into this band, this band with this really, really cool logo that I really liked that kind of inspired me to try to, you know, create logos uh, uh, very similar in the style to this or at least within the same realm of possibility uh, and just really get creative with it and also have just this fantastic music to really match it as well. Uh, the earlier albums boasted just a, a, a lot of just diabolical, dark-sounding black metal that is showcased once again on an album such as Terraz. This is probably one of the most diabolical albums that uh, I've heard out of these guys in the past couple of years. Not to say that their last couple of albums have sounded weak. Not to say that these past couple of albums have not really you know, uh, had the same level of evil, so to speak, so, uh, centered around it. It's just that this one seems like they've really taken it up a notch. They've really dialed it in a little bit, and they really were able to focus in on a core of songs that was able to best showcase all of the different strengths that, these, that this band has possessed throughout all of these years, and has been able to culminate together in a grand exhibition of bloody, bloody, execution. It's fantastic. This is an album that I do highly recommend for all of you. This is an album that snuck up on myself and a lot of people. Uh, I think a lot of people really did not expect this whenever uh, it was being announced and whenever the release date quickly came. Uh, in fact, whenever uh, we got the shipment uh, for the new releases for this week and I saw it in there, I had completely forgotten that this album was due to come out. And I was very, very nicely taken aback 
by just how much of a fresh, fresh uh, uh, taste of the old Nagelfar that this album really is able to possess. Fantastic record. Going to give it an 8 out of 10. I highly recommend it for all of you Cover Killer Nation. Uh, not only for those of you who are of the melodic black or the black metal persuasion that know this band, that know its history, but also for new fans as well. This is a great band to really get you kind of accustomed to what you can expect the black metal. And this is also one where if you uh, maybe are, 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 are kind of new to the game and you want to learn about one of the legends of the... I would say second wave of black metal or the first wave of melodic black metal, however you wish to really classify this band. This is a really great gateway drug into this whole genre of music. So either it's a history lesson that has turned current or it is a grand, grand introduction into a fantastic style of music that you will not regret. Definitely check this album out. I highly recommend it and I will talk to you guys within the next review. Go pick up those new releases, guys.